delay the disbursement of the grant we are expecting. The truth is that this grant is ready. That is the truth on taken away. But the fact that whatever has been happening, we now just need the government to say, go ahead with this disbursement. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, thanks a lot for the visit. You know, there's an adage, all man for himself, God for us all. In this grand community, in particular, Nigeria in general, sorry to say, it's quite unfortunate that it seems that all man is for himself and his family. Even some people are even against their family. So it's all man for himself. It's only God that is for us all. This freedom for massive movement, they are the one now that have come out to speak. And admin real have come out to speak. They're supposed to have a meeting yesterday. Mm, on Saturday. Yeah, Saturday stroke yesterday. And their meeting was geared towards protest, towards agitation about the disbursement. Then yesterday evening, they called off the meeting, said the meeting is not going to hold because they have met, they got information that the presidency, they have met the president and the money is already there. They are just waiting to be disbursed. Now, does that make sense? Even for the protesters, for the people that are nationwidely protesting to get access to speak with the president, it was impossible. It was yesterday that the president just finally just chipping a one-hour speech. Then how come UAG, AGPGN, okay, let me leave AGPGN aside, because then UAG, Supreme, too, but all of them are speaking in one voice that they met the president. How did they meet the president in this crucial time where there is opera in Nigeria, how is it possible that the grant handlers are speaking chorusly with one voice that the money is ready and they have shared it, each one disposes? Is this not like a gimmick? Doesn't it look as if there is an organized crime somewhere? Now, Freedom for Masses movement that have agitating for long. They have been speaking consistently for long. First of all, they came out to say that the delay is too much. Secondly, Philip, Comrade uh, Philip and uh, Prince of Worry came out to say that there is no grant. Later, they withdrew the statement and apologized and say, okay, let us sojourn together. If there is grant, why the delay? Now, they have come out again now, wanted to push for protest. They have been paid now even though they were not paid what is the guarantee that they were not giving some incentive some money if they come out now to be lying to us with them how can they in their right senses tell us now that the money is there okay if the money is there where is the money if the money is there have they seen it if the money is there, on what ground is the money? On which, what is the disbursement procedure? What is the disbursement template? What is the disbursement modalities? Who is the NGO? Or is it the government now that is giving them money to disburse? It's no longer NGO money. Is it government money? So things are to be cleared before they come out and tell us to pipe low that the money is there. So I want you to see many people are confused that this is the admin real. Is that the famous admin real that have been on the side of the masses that is telling us to pipe low? And they did not even give time frame. So we we'll listen to Admin Rio talking about this buzzment. He categorically said that the money is there. Is tomorrow now they will come out to be rendering apology to us for leading us astray. Glaringly now they are leading us astray. There's no ignorance in the law that you don't know that you don't know. It's not an ignorant. It's not something to be excused of. It's only in grand community that I see somebody that will delete people of their money, use it to build houses, buy jet, I mean buy houses and cars, 
and come out to apologize that he did not know, then he will go scot free. OCG now has a car. He's, he's living well, and he's telling us that he was cheated. He was he was he was deceived. A full grown man. All stars that old now that was crying foul play has a car now has a house. Um, German machine now. All of them are living large at our own expense. Later, they will come out and apologize to us that they did not know what they were doing. You did not know what you were doing. You were collecting money, buying cars, living large at our expense. So, masses, please, beneficiaries, please, subscribers, please, whichever you want to put it. Please don't let these people give you off again the small token you have. Next point of action now is pay something for logistics. They will not tell you to pay for, for grant again. They will tell you that they are buying fuel, that they are moving up and down. You pay for logistics because that's the money that is like charity money. Listen to this and be wise. See on the other side. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen in Grant's community. This is Admin Rio coming your way today, the 4th of August 2024, from the platform of Masters Freedom Movement. First of all, I'd like to say Happy New Month to you all, and trusting that this month will bring the best of your expectations. I had earlier indicated interest that we should have a general meeting this evening, but I would like to put that on hold because the things I want to say this evening are the things we would have also discussed in the meeting. But basically, it centers around the delay, the disbursement of the grant we are expecting. The truth is that this grant is ready. That is the truth on taken away. But the fact that whatever has been happening, we now just need the government to say, go ahead with this disbursement. So we use this opportunity in the event of the ongoing protest happening in the country, causing insecurities, deaths, hunger and anger, would like to seize this opportunity to plead with His Excellency the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Tinubu, to please give a nod, please, action this grant to be disbursed to soften, to curb the insecurities, the deaths, the hunger, the hardship that is going on in the country at the moment. The masses feel grave hardship. And we plead that you give a go ahead for this grant to be disbursed at this trying moment we trust you're going to do this for us and we believe you have all it takes as a father to do this for us thank you very much i'd like to enjoin everyone to be expectant and also plead with whoever in authority to help us get this grant this boss because this grant is ready. We just need government to say go ahead. And we believe they have us at heart and they will do this this time. So that the insecurities will be curbed. The deaths will be curbed. The hunger, the hardship, all will be slowed down. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a good evening.